Hi, I'm Ellen Negley and I'm a watercolor painter. I live in Lake Worth Beach, Florida. I participate in about eight outdoor art shows a year. I also sell my work on Etsy. I love to use lots of color and if you're interested in my work, you can find it at negleywatercolors.com. I just feel like there is something inside me. I feel driven to create. And so if a week goes by and I haven't painted, I just feel like um, I need to get back to painting. Um, so I think that I just have a passion for it. it. It fulfills me for sure. So actually I have no formal art training, which is kind of strange. Um, I, I didn't take any art classes in high school nor college, but then after I finished with college, I felt like there was kind of something missing in my life. So I bought a cheapy set of watercolors and I just began. I could not draw, I could not paint. So I was learning both of those at the same time, which was rather confusing, but little by little and day by day, I got better and I just kept sticking with it. And uh, here I am today. Um, originally I lived out West uh, in West Palm Beach, but um, I felt like I wanted to be surrounded by other like-minded people. And I felt like when I came and looked at this area, like it felt artistic and I wanted to be a part of that. My favorite subject matter. It kind of depends on what I'm painting on that particular week because after I finish a painting, um, be it whether I like it or not, it's like I'm always thinking ahead. And so um, the painting that I'm painting, painting that particular week is most important to me and that's where my heart is. So as far as style goes, um, I've been influenced by several great painters, Frank Francis, Don Andrews, Charles Reed. Um, I love to find colorful subjects where I can splash around a lot of color. I think that's why I was attracted to watercolor because I love how the paint can flow on, on its own and do its own thing. Um, I also love tropical foliage, so Florida is a great place for me to paint, um, but I also love to travel. And so um, when I travel, I do lots of drawings and hopefully I can work on more European scenes in the future. This painting is of um, Times Square. It's on Fort Myers Beach. Um, it's an opportunity to use a lot of different color. I love when there's lots of buildings piled one on top of the other. And I always love adding lots of people to my paintings. And so there was a lot of hustle and bustle there. So it's a great subject. So I've only recently quit my job just six months ago, so I'm, I've only now had the time to really get involved. But one of um, the projects that I'm really proud of is um, the Free Little Art Gallery. I have one in front of my house. There are also five others located within Lake Worth Beach, and it's an opportunity for um, people in the public to come and take a piece of art or share a piece of art or, or both. And so I like to cut up small little snippets of my artwork and put it in there. And it's surprising. I'll go put one in and then walk back out 15 minutes later and it's gone. So it's just really nice to share my art with uh, other people in the community. And I hope that they'll share theirs as well. So I wanted to talk a little bit about my process. I always do what I call a value drawing before I paint. You can see that here. This is a subject of Fort Myers Beach. It's called Times Square. So I'm, I'm using only black and white and gray for the value drawing. The reason I'm doing that is I'm really just trying to figure out or I'm trying to, it's like a roadmap for the painting. So I'm trying to figure out where the darks and the lights are. Um, and anything in between the grays. So when it comes time to paint, it really doesn't matter what colors I use. Colors are subjective, but values are not. So you can see from the painting that where there's white in my value drawing, I've tried to leave white in my paintings. Where there is medium value on my drawing, my value drawing, there should be medium value on my painting. And for the most part, that's probably true. It looks like I went a little darker on the roofs, but I think that's, I think that worked well with the painting. So anyway, that's just how I do it. If I had to give any advice to an emerging artist, I would say that you just have to be willing to uh, be flexible and really work hard. There are so many things that 
I participate in, whether it's my Etsy shop or going to uh, outdoor shows, um, painting and have, having people come over here and look at my artwork. I participate in, whenever somebody asks me to do a local show, I do that. Um, just getting involved, talking to other artists, um, being inspired by other people and their work. Lake Worth Beach is a diverse, multicultural community with an artistic soul and plenty of historic charm to spare. To celebrate that artistic flair, Lula Lake Worth Arts was created to support and enhance our thriving arts community. Through our work, we've created dozens of picturesque murals across downtown and dotted streets with colorful planters, street banners, window clings, and traffic boxes. We've also created new family-themed events to celebrate Lake Worth Beach's Latin culture. Lula Lake Worth Arts is enhancing livability and advancing economic prosperity in Lake Worth Beach. Learn more about us at lakeworthearts.com. These videos have been paid for through grant funding from Healthy Lake Worth Beach.